Hi there, Mike Wolf, founder of MikeWolfMastery.com. Thank you for tuning in. I got a question this morning from somebody named Phyllis in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. And she was asking me, you know, she's heard that there's real estate uh, tax deed auctions that take place in Canada. And she asked, why do I go down to Texas all the time? And so here's the, here's the answer to that. One, there, there's numerous reasons. One is that the banking system in Canada uh, is much more conservative than the banking system in the United States. So what that means is back in the boom times when uh, the United States banks were doing what we call ninja loans, no income, no job approved, uh, the Canadian banks were not doing that. They were being a lot tighter. And so while it was frustrating on the one hand that they're so conservative all the time, they come out looking like heroes when we run into a, a bust like we are right now because they didn't make the same mistakes. So. As a result, what's going on is that when a delinquent taxpayer uh, doesn't pay, they get behind in their property taxes, the first thing that happens is before it goes to auction, the counties have to notify everybody who's on title that this home is going to be going on the auction block. Because everybody on title, they've got an interest in the property. They've got the right to bail it out before it goes to auction. So in Canada, the mortgage holder is going to basically if there's a $200,000 mortgage on a property, they're not going to lose that over five or $6,000 of property taxes typically. So what they're going to do is they're going to pay it off and then they're going to try to go after the homeowner to collect it or they'll foreclose on the homeowner themselves as opposed to letting the county take it because these mortgages get wiped out. At these auctions, these mortgages disappear. In the U.S., we've got banks that are still licking their wounds. Uh, they've got tons of foreclosures on their plate. They've got a lot of short sales. They're dealing with a lot of different things, number one. Number two, a lot of times the banks are, are doing what's called selling notes. That means they're selling mortgages back and forth to each other. So maybe uh, the, home, the, the loan originated with Bank of America. Bank of America sold it to Chase. Chase sold it to Wells Fargo. And this mortgage is transferred three or four different times. And somewhere along the way, with all the paperwork, it didn't get recorded properly at the title office. So what that means is the county is going to send notice to the bank that's on showing up on the title, not which isn't necessarily the current owner of that mortgage. And that bank may have no interest in the property anymore. So to make a long story short, what we see is that in most cases in Canada, the banks are going to bail it out. In a lot of cases in the U.S., the banks are not going to deal with it. One, because it's a lot of work. Two, because they're getting, uh, they're getting bailouts by the government. Three, they've sold the note. Um, but also, uh, the other thing is quite often because the U.S., the prices have dropped so significantly on the real estate that the mortgage may be worth more than what the property is worth. So the bank has no, you know, they don't want to throw any more money at it. They've already, they already know they've lost a lot of their money. They're just not going to deal with it. So that's one of the biggest reasons. The other thing is, you know, in, in um, both Canada and the United States, when a home is going up for auction, by law, these homes have to be advertised in the newspaper. You ever see that public notices section in the newspaper? Well, they have to announce that these homes are going for auction. So quite often what happens in, uh, in Canada, we see you know, people get all excited. They see this stuff. Oh, look, there's a, there's a big foreclosure auction taking place on such and such a date. There's going to be uh, you know, this property and this property and this property. By the time the auction actually takes place, because the banks have bailed out most of them, there's very few properties and a whole lot of people showing up. In the U.S., it's a much different environment. A lot of people lost money during the bus times. They uh, are afraid to get back into real estate. And it's created a real opportunity for me as a Canadian who's not afraid to purchase U.S. real estate. So what we see is a very small percentage of people at the auction relative to the number of properties in the USA. In Canada, we see a ton of people to, to bid on very few properties. So those few properties get really bid up and quite often they end up going for pretty darn close to market value. So not much point going through all the motions to buy a property at market value. It's, there's many other safer ways to buy these properties in Canada. So that's kind of a rundown, just two of the, the biggest reasons why Canada does not make sense for that strategy and why you're, you're very uh, unlikely to get a property that way here in our country, which is exactly why I've created my tax deed course, which takes place in Houston, Texas, and where I take uh, not just Canadians, but people from all over the world and teach them how to invest properly in that market. So if that's something that interests you, please contact me, let me know, and I'd uh, be happy to tell you more about this course. And we can, I'd be happy to also give you a, a free strategy session. So if you found this video helpful, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you have any other questions keep them coming I always like to try to create videos because I know if one person has that question there's probably a lot of other people with that same question and the whole
whole point of this channel is to help as many people as possible. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Mike Wolf. We'll see you soon.